Right then, right then, right then. I thought I'd have a look at the um, results. I always do the results spreadsheets for the POS Unpack now and put them up on the members website, uh, members area of the website. So I thought, why not make a video and go through them and show you what the outcomes were. So I've been through on Sofa Score and just updated the scores. Um, I didn't think you'd want to see me actually go and find them and put them in because it might be a bit tedious. So I thought we'd just uh, highlight where we've where we've sort of got things correct and so we can make some analysis. Um, one thing to point out here is now that we've got over and under goals included in the Poisson pack, which wasn't previously. So now we've got a nice complete, uh, we've got the draw system, we've got the Poisson, obviously win, draw, win with the value odds, inputted Betfair odds here. And now we've got over and unders as well. So this is your over and unders, um, predicted sort of percentages, the value odds that you should be getting and what the actual odds are. Um, some I mentioned in a, in the email to to members. This this won't add up to a hundred, so don't get excited when you notice that it doesn't. Uh, that's because in the I'll show you in the matrix that I use, I only go up to five nil either way. And in some games, um, it will be less than it will be more than five nil, and there'll be a slight percentage of zero point one percent of five one or five two or six nil, and added up, it might make a, a couple of percent. So it doesn't add up exactly. But it's it's enough for what we need to predict. So that's just a little caveat for that. So let's have a look. And so Newcastle Palace, uh, the value would have been on a Palace win. It ended up one 0 to Newcastle. We thought there might have been more goals, which I think is understandable. So that didn't come in either. But we did get the one 0 home win. So we'll highlight that there with the correct scores. Everton Leicester ended one one. We had the value in being for the Everton win. It didn't look likely at any time, really, did it? And we also had value. It was very close, but value on the uh, overs, which didn't come in because that was a tight game. But again, the correct score did come in, and that was actually the first correct score, uh, the most likely correct score. Chelsea-Arsenal, what a goal fest that was. 4-2 uh, to Arsenal. The value was with Arsenal. Nice win there if we'd have put that on. Um, so that was... Oh God, that's not the right colour, is it? Um yeah, a nice win there for Arsenal, 4-2. Uh, and we also got the overs, which we could have got above evens on, which is uh, another good one. Surprisingly enough, the score didn't come in, but happy enough with that. Man City-Brighton, now this was a, an interesting one for the system, actually. 3-0, um, yeah, the value, this is one of those that you wouldn't really put a bet on Brighton. The value was with Brighton if you were looking for value, but that's one of the examples of just because it says there's value doesn't mean you have to put a bet on it because it was never really likely, was it? There was still We were still predicting 10s. Um, and the uh, overs, we were predicting unders at 2.56. And for a long time, it was. Um, I think it was, was it, was it just before halftime or just after halftime that they got the first goal, Man City? Um, it wasn't It wasn't early in the game anyway, was it? It was no, it's no nil at halftime. So that would have got us in and out of that market, of the unders market, uh, with a, a healthy profit if we'd have put a bet on 2.56 there. Um, so that was actually an ideal game to bet on unders. As you'll see in some of my previous videos, this is what we want. We want a game that is predicted to be high scoring but starts slow so we can get in and out of that market. So although for the sake of this spreadsheet it's going to go down as a loss, it's actually a very good example of an under 2.5 goals trade. But with the Poisson pack, we did also get the correct score of 3-0, so we'll highlight that. France League 1, now this was quite a low scoring um, a fair mostly I think from what I remember so Bordeaux yeah obviously 2-2 two, two, the first one Bordeaux St Etienne um, the value with Bordeaux it ended 2-2 two, two, so there was nothing there um, but we did have over two and a half goals for this one and that did come in so that's I don't know why that hasn't underlined but um, so that's a win there uh, we didn't get 2-2 two, two. Claremont won one nil away uh, the value is with the home side there and we also had uh, overs predicted, so that didn't come in, uh, and we didn't have nil one, so that's a bit of a whitewash there. Lyon Mets one nil, so we had the value in the home win, uh, so we can highlight that one. We had unders, so we can highlight that one, and we had one nil as the main score, the first score. So even if you were betting on only one score for correct score, that would have come in. So that's a beautiful result for that. Monaco Nice, uh, there was value in the draw there, which didn't quite come in. But we did get the unders correct. And we also got 1-0 as the most likely scoreline. So the correct score betting in France here is brilliant. Uh, Lille lost 2-1 away. Uh, and we had that down as a home win. So that's a good result again. 
We had unders, but it did end up over, so that didn't come in. But the home win came in at 2 1. So it was a good night in France, actually. I remember watching the results come in. I mean, PSG, but there's no point in betting on PSG. Again, you could lay them, but uh, I'm not really interested in it. The unders, um, I don't think that worked like the Man City one. I can't remember when their first goal was. Um, I remember checking on the goal scorers. Um, and I think Mbappe scored the first goal, didn't he? But I, I can't remember exactly when it was. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, so it was 2 0 at half time. Um, first goal after 28 minutes. He probably would have been in and out, actually, if you were disciplined enough. Um, but anyway, well, I don't really get involved in PSG games. Uh, Leon lost 2 1 away. And this is a great result. We had the home win as having value there. Look at the value there. There's a massive amount. Um, which just shows the home team, the big team bias in some of the bookies odds. So I mean that's a that's a great result. You can get hold of that. The we did end up over, so that didn't come in, but we did get the two one as well. So as you can see, there's lots going on. That's lots of success in just these few games. Uh, Lance home win, which was predicted with value. Uh, unders, which was predicted with value, and surely and the top score again. CC. I mean that. Look at the correct score betting. We're doing brilliantly in France. Marseille, Nantes. And that was 3-2. This is one, I think, that I had on the corner bets, which we'll get to in a little bit, which was a, it was a real back and forward game, this one. Um, so that did come in. We were predicting overs, and overs came in. I doubt 3-2 was there, was it? No. So a good good two out of three there, though. And Strasbourg, um, I, don't know, I don't know why I did that. Um, I haven't got the value odds for this. Why haven't the value odds calculated for this one? Oh, we must have, um, I must have copy and pasted that wrong then. So, oh, who knows, we'll leave that one. Uh, sorry, the formatting was wrong, but I'm not going to go through that now. This one was a whitewash. I remember looking at this, this was a, a bit of a shock result. Um, Udinese le le losing at home 1-0, uh, and we didn't predict that at all. We thought there'd be goals, um, and we thought there'd be a home win, so, yeah, whatever, really. Spain, La Liga, Atletico versus Granada. Now, this was a great one for the system as well. See, we've got 5.8 for the uh, draw, 12 for Granada. So whenever that comes up, as I've mentioned before, I would lay the lay the home team massively there. I'd put a nice lay on um, and probably cash out sort of, you know, midway through the half, second half probably for a nice profit just to make sure that the home team don't get that late goal. But if you'd have let it run and laid at let it go, you'd have made a nice profit. Um, there was no clear value on either of these. Um, so we didn't really highlight a, um, an under or over, and nil nil wasn't one of the score lines. It was always it was predicted to be pretty close, wasn't it? But um, so that that would have got you enough enough profit anyway to cover that game. Uh, Salta versus Getafe. We had value in Salta winning, but it was actually an away win. We did get the um, unders. There wasn't a massive amount of value on there, but we did get that one, and the correct score wasn't uh, wasn't accurate. Osasuna versus Real Madrid. So that was 1-3, and there was value in the, uh, surprisingly, you don't often get value with Real Madrid, so we got some nice value there on the away, and we got some value on the over two and a halves as well, which is nice, and yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the colours, thanks. Um, so yeah, so that was that was decent, I mean, we had 3-0, so if you were betting, um, if you were trading on the scores, you probably could have got in and out, because we had 2-1 as well, so you probably would have got in and out with a profit, um, but just for the sake of this, we uh, would call that a, a, a missed correct score. So the corner bets. Chelsea Arsenal, now I was watching this one, 2.1. I, I did think that was a bit high. Um, it took a while, but I think it did It did come in um, near the near the end, I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, let me just check. Sorry, I should have done this before, but I'm pretty sure that one... Or did that one not come in? One of them didn't come in. Um, corners. No, sorry, this one didn't come in. So there was only seven corners in this one. Um Man City Brighton came in, so that was a win. Um, I think there were, I can't remember, like 11, I think, in that one. Um, sorry about that. And then this came in as well. Marseille Knots came in, uh, the the higher, higher score. So we got 2.46 on that. So that was a good result as well. Chelsea Arsenal, um, I, put, I mean, we thought Chelsea would be a little bit more competitive. I think everyone did, didn't they? So, um, I mean, to be fair, they, had, they did have... Um, they did have the majority of the corners, but uh, yeah, it was a weird old game. It was enjoyable to watch, but uh, but yeah, the corners didn't come in on that one. So 
we've got two out of three for the corners, which I'm I'm happy with that to be honest. Um, and at the two point four six is a great, great result. So yeah, I hope you found that interesting. Um, just to show you the the power of the pack really, and and what sort of results we're getting. Um, like I say, the unders and overs are now added. Um, they're purely derived from the the Poisson matrices, so it matrices. So it's adding up the over and unders percentages for the scores. I know that's got pounds. That's just the wrong format, and that should be nil one, nil two, like this. So you've got one nil, nil nil, two one. So it's adding up the. Well, I can show you actually. It's adding up. Oh no, I can't. Sorry, there's no formatting on this sheet. It's just copied. So it'll add up nil nil, one one, two nil, and two nil to the home and away team, and those scores will calculate for the. Um, unders and then the rest of it will be for the overs and then it's converted to decimal odds to tell you what your value odds are and then I'll, I'll put the uh, Betfair odds in for you to show the to show the value and then that's added to supplement the correct score betting um, so all in all I think it's a really comprehensive pack now um, it's got a lot there for you and that's on top of the the draw system which hasn't been going brilliantly this month and it wasn't brilliant last month it did turn a profit last month but not massive this month it's slowed down again. Although, as I've said to members, we've got the South American leagues and the Asian league coming back in now, um, and they are really good for betting on draws. But I'm aware that it hasn't been brilliant this month, so that's why I keep trying to add more value and to sort of diversify the offering uh, without adding any price, any anything to the price. It's still the same price as when people were betting, paying for just draw selections. You're now getting the plus on all of this. Um, unders and overs, corners, croissant. So um, I like to think that I'm adding value to make sure that you've got enough to be happy with. Um, and I'll always do that. I'm not looking to, to try and fleece anybody and get extra money. So uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. I'll be doing this going forward now. This is part of the pack. So you'll get this. You just have to log into the members area each day and you'll see all this. This will all be presented to you in a nice package with the corner bets at the end. Uh, and you can do as you will with it. All right, thanks very much. I'll see you again soon. Have a great weekend if I don't speak to you before. And please make sure you like and subscribe if you can. It does really help me out. Thanks a lot.